Report, TSA gets a 20% on all their most recent tests, spends too much time groping. Airport screeners working for the badly run TSA reportedly failed to detect weapons around 80% of the time in recent undercover tests. However, the TSA agents do grope 100% of who they chose to grope, including young teens, disabled boys and preteens. In recent undercover tests of multiple airport security checkpoints by the Department of Homeland Security, inspectors said TSA screeners, their equipment, and or their procedures failed more than half the time, according to a source familiar with the classified report. When ABC News asked the source if the failure rate was 80%, the response was, you are in the ballpark. Well an improvement to 20%. That is a scary thought. TSA has a rather grotesque record. A mom caught a TSA agent fondling her young teen son on video in a prolonged and very personal pat-down at DFW airport security. The TSA agent touched almost every part of his body including his private area. The boy was wearing light shorts and a t-shirt. It was obvious by looking that there was nothing but boy under those clothes. It did not stop the agent. He just kept feeling and touching the boy, over and over. This is maddening. Jennifer Williamson posted a video on Facebook Sunday morning. It shows her son being patted down by a TSA agent. You can see the agent speak to the boy, then begin to pat down his backside, before moving to the front. He literally rubs the young boys behind over and over. Williamson states that her son was kept for over an hour. She had already asked the agents to screen him in other ways. The boy has sensory processing disorder and has issues with being touched. A 10-year-old girl received an uncomfortable TSA screening at a North Carolina airport after security officials found a juice pouch in her carry-on, according to her father. Kevin Payne, of San Diego, says his daughter Vendela was meticulously patted down by a TSA agent for nearly two minutes after mistakenly leaving a Capri Sun drink in her bag at Trolley Durham International Airport. Payne recorded the pat down with his cell phone. In a story from NBC News, she just had a completely blank stare on her face, he told Today. I could tell it was very uncomfortable for her. Agents swabbed Vendela's bag after finding the juice, which is banned under TSA regulations for how much liquid passengers can bring on a plane, and got a false positive reading for explosives on the bag, Payne said. A female TSA agent then did an extensive pat-down on the 10-year-old. What was going through my mind is, this is annoying, I don't like this, I want to run out of the door, Vendela told today. According to TSA protocol, officers will work with parents to resolve any alarms at the checkpoint and has modified screening procedures for children 12 and under that produce the likelihood of pat-downs. And these are just two of thousands of crazy stories? many not even told. Hopefully that this is not Obama's world anymore, most of this will stop and TSA can get to work doing what they are supposed to do. Stop terrorism, terrorism.